Hello my friends, I hope you all are having an amazing day with the amazing blessings and with the amazing grace of God. My name is Liang Sharon and welcome to another video. Today the title of my sermon is The Importance of Reading the Bible Daily. Amen. So my friends, without any further delay, let's get into it. My friends, as I have said before, today the title of my sermon is The Importance of Reading the Bible Daily. My friends, the Bible is the Word of God. Daily reading, daily Bible reading is a vital part of a Christian's instruction and relationship with God. Amen. My friends, the Bible teaches us God's commands, promises, grace, and also many other things, my friends. The Bible also helps us to love God with all of our heart and mind and to grow in His grace. By reading and studying the Word, we get to know the Lord of the Word and His will for our lives. Daily Bible reading also strengthens our faith, knowledge, and understanding. My friends, the Bible can also be considered as God's love letter to His children that means to us, the believers. Amen. My friends, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 says, But Jesus told him, No, the scriptures say, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My friends, uh, this is something that Jesus Christ has told when he was tempted by the devil. My friends, this, this is an answer that Jesus Christ gave to the devil when Jesus Christ was being tempted. My friends, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse 4 says, But Jesus told him, No, the scripture says people do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. This is the answer that Jesus Christ has, has gave to the tempter when he faced the first temptation, my friends. My friends, the, let us read from the verse 3. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 4 verse 3 says, The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Amen. My friends, uh, my friends, you need to always remember that the Bible strengthens our faith. It reminds us of His promises. It gives us courage, joy. The Bible opens our understanding and it also strengthens our relationship with God. Amen. My friends, the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 says, For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. My friends, in here the book of Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 talks about something that is very important and very powerful, my friends. But the word of God is alive and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Amen. My friends, 2 Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 says, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Amen. My friends, in here, uh, the Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17 uh, says some uses that we can take from the Bible, my friends. My friends, in here, the verse uh, 16 says, All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, for rebuking, for correcting and also for training in righteousness so that the word so that the man of god may be thoroughly equipped for every good work amen my friend in psalm chapter 119 verse 105 the psalmist says that your word is a lamp for my feet a lamp on my path amen my friends god's word provides guidance and direction to our lives amen isaiah chapter 55 verse 11 says so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. My friends, this Bible verse is also greatly connected to the first two Bible verses. That means the Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12, Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 to 17. The meaning of this Bible verse is greatly connected to the meanings of the of those two of those three Bible verses, my friends. 
so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose, and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Amen. My friend, the book of Job chapter 23 verse 12 says, I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. My friends, in here, the prophet Job is saying that I have not departed from the commands of his lips. I have, I have treasured the, word of, the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. My friends, we need to be like Prophet Job. My friends, in here he says that, that he has never departed from the commands, commandments of God. And he has treasured the words of his mouth more than his daily bread. He has treasured the words of God more than the daily bread. More than his daily bread, my friends. Amen. My friends, the book of my friend, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verse 28 says, He replied, Blessed rather are those who hear the word of God and obey it. My friends, uh, we need to always remember that we need to, we need to not only be hearers of the word, but we need to also be doers of the word. That is really important, my friends. Amen. My friend, the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 17 says, Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. My friends, the gospel, my friend, the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17 says, So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Yes, my friends, faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8 says, The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of God will stand forever. My friends, this is strongly related to the next bible verse that i am going to be reading that is in the new testament the gospel of matthew chapter 24 verse 35 heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away amen my friends you need to always remember that all the things that we see that means uh, the worldly things such as the grass uh, earth those are temporal my friends but the word of god is eternal shall never pass away amen the book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 8 says, The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 24 verse 35, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. Amen. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 says, Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. My friends, in here, the word of God is considered as the sword of the Spirit, my friends. My friends, in the book of Ephesians chapter 6, we have given, we have been given the, the armor of God, the elements of the armor of God. So my friends, let's read that, read that part also. It will also greatly help you to understand about the elements of the armor of God. The book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10 to 20. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything to stand, stand firm them, then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Amen. And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the saints. My friends, in here the Apostle Paul is saying that pray also for me, that whenever I open my mouth, words may be given me, so that I will fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in chains pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. So my friends, I hope through all of this you understood the importance of reading the word of God 
then that is really important my friends my friends as i have said before the bible strengthens our faith it reminds us of God's promises. It gives us courage and joy. The Bible opens our understanding and it also strengthens our relationship with God. Amen. So my friends, I hope everything is clear and coherent in today's video. So if you have any questions or clarifications to be made, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I will provide you with the answers. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ to be with you today tomorrow and always. May God bless you and keep you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you.